Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage Active Directory with Windows Admin Center using Active Directory extension. As we know, Windows Admin Center can be installed and used on Windows PC as well as Windows Server operating systems. In fact, we can connect to and have access to many powerful tools in Windows Admin Center on our Windows 10 administrative workstation. But the question is, how do we access the Windows Admin Center Active Directory module? To manage Active Directory using Windows Admin Center, we need to install Active Directory extension in Windows Admin Center. Be sure you are running the latest version of Windows Admin Center 2306 at the time of this video recording. You can download it from Microsoft website aka.ms slash wsc download. Already I have created a video on how to install and use Windows Admin Center earlier. Check out that video first. Link is given in the description area. Windows Admin Center is built as an extensible platform where each connection type and tool is an extension that we can install, uninstall and update individually. We can search for new extensions published by Microsoft and other developers and install and update them individually without having to update the entire Windows Admin Center installation. Click the Settings button in the top right corner. Under Gateway, click on Extensions. The Available Extensions tab will list the extensions on the feed that are available for installation. Click on Extension to view the extension description, version, publisher and other information in Details pane. For example, click on Active Directory. Here we can see the extension description, version and publisher information. Click on install to install a selected extension which is Active Directory in our case. If the gateway must run in elevated mode to make this change, will be presented with the USC elevation prompt. After installation is complete, a browser will automatically be refreshed and Windows Admin Center will be reloaded with the new extension installed. We can also go to the Installed Extensions tab to view installed extensions and see if an update is available in the Status column. Go to Installed Extensions tab. We can confirm that the Active Directory extension is installed successfully in Windows Admin Center. Now, we will need to connect to our domain controller in our environment to manage Active Directory. Remember, the Active Directory domain services only show up in the context of managing a domain controller with Windows Admin Center. Click on Windows Admin Center. Click on WS2022-DC01 server to connect to our domain controller. After connecting to a DC, we will see the Active Directory menu listed underneath Tools. Click on Active Directory. The actual Active Directory administration is essentially limited to adding, deleting and editing user accounts as well as creating groups and managing their members. The large search field allows easily finding objects from our Active Directory. Type Administrator and click on Search. Click on Administrator. We have the ability to disable, remove and reset password for the selected Active Directory object. Password reset is one of the feature that is essentially useful for web-based tools. This task can be delegated to employees without having to install any software on their computer. We get the basic properties of the user that can be modified such as the typical username, 
सेम अकाउंट नेम पासवर्ड ऑप्शन अकाउंट एक्सपायरेशन एंड अदर्स ऑल्सो इफ यू लुक एट द मेंबरशिप मैन्यू वी विल क्विकली गेट टू सी विच ग्रुप्स द यूज ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ मेंबर ऑफ एडिशनली आई रियली लाइक द सर्च मैन्यू दैट इज फाउंड ऑन दिस पेज इज दैट अलाउज क्विकली फिल्टरिंग डाउन टू सी द एग्जैक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट यू आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड Instead of having to scroll to the list of groups in the user properties like Active Directory users and computers, we can quickly use the search menu and determine if the user is a member of a particular group or not. At top bar, click on Active Directory Domain Services. For testing purpose, let's create an OU first. Click on Create option. and select an ou from the list type a meaningful name for the ou leave the rest of the settings to default click on create we can see the confirmation message successfully created ou named test ou inside the test ou we want to create an user account named test user1 click on create option and select user from the list Type the name for your user, which is test user one in our case. Type user's same account name, which is going to be user one. Let's type user's password. Type given name. Now click on change to select the container to store this user account. Select test OU from the list. Click on select. You can see the containers distinct years path. OU is equal to test OU. DC is equal to MSFT webcast. DC is equal to com. Now click on create to create the user account in Testoyu. Next, let's create a new domain local group. Click on create option and this time select group. Name group test group. Group scope will be domain local. Let's type this group's same account name. Click on change. to select the container to store this group from the list select test to you click on select and now click on create to create the group in test ou we can see the confirmation now click on browse to see newly created user and group in active directory click on test to you we can see the test user 1 and test group are stored in test ou Let's add test user one to test group. Select test group and click on properties. Click on membership. Click on add. Here we need to type the same account name of our user. Type user one and click on add. Click on save and wait for the confirmation message. The user is successfully added to the selected group. Let's confirm it. click on active directory domain services click on test user 1 and select properties click on membership we can confirm that the test user 1 is member of the test group from here we can also update the group membership by adding or removing this user to other groups under tools click on active directory The new Active Directory extension is a great new extension to be found for use with Windows Admin Center. Keep in mind this extension is still in preview form as are many other Windows Admin Center extensions. The seeming lack of features at this stage should not be alarming. It is not close to Active Directory users and computers or other tools in its current form. However, we can expect to see this new active directory extension rapidly gain new features i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions please let me know in the comments section that's all for this video on how to manage your active directory with windows admin center using active directory extension thank you all for watching this video have a nice day